Why Wall Street is Loving Cardano ADA Price Prediction Cardano price was among the victims this Monday morning in the sell-off that flooded cryptocurrency markets. Big names like Bitcoin and Ethereum trended higher during the weekend, but they all paired gains and looked for support around Friday's levels. Hi Cardano lovers, welcome to Cardano Land, your daily dose of Cardano. If you're interested in everything around Cardano, this is the place for you. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for us to provide you with more Cardano news. And let us know in the comments how much you think Cardano will cost next week. As of today, the 6th of July, 2021, Cardano's current price is $1.4300, as we are seeing a little rise in the crypto market right now. But as we always mention, there are certain things you need to be aware of. Firstly, the cryptocurrency market is highly volatile, and the rates keep on changing. Therefore, by the time you watch this video, the coin prices would have switched to a whole different range. Secondly, the content of this video in no manner should be taken as financial or investment advice. This video is created purely to serve educational and informative purposes. You are requested to pursue your own diligence or consult an expert in this regard to make better investment decisions. Cardano price may look heavy, but nothing has changed to risk on mood. Investors must have had a perfect weekend watching their cryptocurrency portfolio increase in value. The feeling on Monday morning, however, must have undercut their euphoric feeling from Sunday evening. This weekend it looked like cryptocurrencies were out of the woods after a few weeks of heavy selling and the long road to what looked like recovery. But no need to panic just yet. A closer look at Cardano price action shows that it is respecting a fan technical play. The 1-1 trend line was very well supported on July 1st, with buyers pushing ADA price toward $1.50. We get confirmation that this fan is being well respected as we see hours and days before the half fan line and the third fan line reflected in the wigs of the candles. Even the 1 8 fan is confirming the trend, which is a technical indicator to be aware of. Looking forward, this means that some further downside is possible for now, but the 1 1 fan line should be respected around $1.33. If that level breaks, Cardano has the $1.30 psychological level and the $1.28 triple bottom from this weekend as additional support. The rejection at $1.50 is standard. It's a fundamental psychological level and for buyers, an excellent place to take some profit. But if the sell-off continues on this US holiday, look for Cardano price to test around $1.20, which should fall in place with the 2-1 fan line. As we know that when bearish market swings on the charts, most cryptocurrencies suffer a heavy price. While Bitcoin and Ethereum are leading the price drop, the other assets generally just follow their lead. In 2021, however, that hasn't been the case with Cardano as the fifth largest asset has held its own with considerable strength. Cardano's value has increased by 2,276% from the beginning of October. At press time, the alt's value had plummeted by just 40% during the recent market crash. After the 19th of May, Ethereum has dropped much more than ADA. Furthermore, the token has consistently held the $1 level, and with bearish pressure in the market easing, the asset is expected to recover in the next weeks. However, there may be more favorable catalysts in the space for Cardano. Coming back to the topic, as we all know that Cardano is Grayscale's third largest stake, but is Wall Street on the way? Cardano has been included in Grayscale's large cap fund, which also includes Bitcoin and Ethereum, according to a recent statement. With a 4.26% allocation, the asset is currently the fund's third largest position. It's worth noting that while Cardano remained on the consideration list till now, its direct listing has propelled the token ahead of assets like Chainlink and Bitcoin Cash, which were both listed long before ADA. The Grayscale breakthrough is significant for ADA since it allows authorized investors to invest directly in the project. Grayscale applied for a Cardano trust in January 2021, and it now makes sense for the company to include the token in its large cap funds. But why is that? During the 19th of May collapse, capital inflows were discovered. Investors were shifting their focus to proof-of-stake assets as the ESG discussion raged around Bitcoin, which has been attributed by some as one of the reasons for the market crash. Cardano saw $11 million in capital inflows from institutional assets after the 19th of May collapse, according to CoinShares. At the same time, the Bitcoin market experienced $115 million in capital outflows. As a result, it's safe to assume that institutions were aware of the project even before Grayscale made its accessibility obvious but Cardano's next step may drive its worth even higher. Now, there is a question in everyone's mind that, will the inclusion of smart contracts result in high-profile collaborations? Possibly. Cardano just published its first Plutus smart contract on its Alonzo testnet, and further advancements are planned for July. The addition of smart contract capabilities and eventual deployment will enable the construction of decentralized applications, 
dApps on the Cardano network. The exact area that enabled Ethereum to reach a greater price would be programmable on Cardano, thus enhancing its utility. Wall Street is already rushing into the space, and it won't be long until they make their positions on Cardano public. Cardano Foundation has also shared its goals for the next five years. In his recent presentation, Frederick Grigard, CEO of the Cardano Foundation, has shared some lofty goals that the Zug-based organization has for the next five years. According to the CF strategy, three Fortune 500 companies could hold and use ADA, the native token of the Cardano blockchain, by 2024. Other objectives include increasing the diversity of on-chain activity, publishing three more white papers, and promoting wallet address growth. By 2026, when the Voltaire era finally arrives, Cardano will turn into a self-sustaining system that will be managed entirely by its users. The proof-of-stake blockchain plans to develop a suite of services for a nation and onboard 1 billion users. Furthermore, it expects 10 Fortune 500 companies to hold ADA by 2026. When it comes to more short-term goals, the Cardano Foundation plans to increase interoperability and onboard 50 banks by 2022. While Cardano is known for its ambitious goals, critics often mock the project for not fully delivering on them. Last week, plenty of Twitter users started trolling IOHK CEO Charles Hoskinson by retweeting his rather poorly aged prediction about the blockchain's progress from July 2020. Presently, Tesla and Square are the only Fortune 500 companies that have Bitcoin on their balance sheets. None of them hold any altcoins, according to their latest regulatory filings. As reported by You Today, the Cardano Foundation claimed that the blockchain was a perfect match for Tesla because of its environmentally friendly proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. Dogecoin touting Tesla CEO Elon Musk never mentioned Cardano directly, but he claimed that he wasn't interested in other cryptocurrency projects because they don't have memes. We are aware that in today's digital era, users from across the globe are fast adopting blockchain technologies. As decentralized technologies mature and their adoption grows, so does the kind of crypto services offered evolve. To interact with all these services and utilize their capabilities, users require to move funds and perform different actions on the blockchain. In the Cardano ecosystem, for instance, this would mean shifting across multiple tools or platforms. A team of developers is looking to address this gap by creating a multifunctional wallet that the Cardano community can use to access all the crypto services offered by the blockchain. Led by their founder, Nick Tabalik, the team at Ray Labs consists of JavaScript developers with extensive experience in building web applications. A notable project the team has been building is the Visual Builder, a SaaS platform that helps hundreds of companies worldwide build web applications using their favorite technological stacks. Other than Visual Builder, the team has been actively contributing to the Cardano ecosystem by participating in the Plutus pilot program. They also maintain an advanced suite of open source tools that empower regular users, developers, creators, and traders to make the best out of Cardano. Now, a question arises, what is this Ray wallet and what will be the benefit? So let's clear you that this Ray wallet is a light wallet that will allow users to access a host of features through a single platform with a super intuitive interface. These include sending and receiving funds, staking, minting tokens, swapping, fundraising, and accessing an NFT marketplace. The goal of developing this multifunctional wallet is to simplify entry and expand the number of users on the Cardano ecosystem. According to the project owners, the initial public release for the Ray wallet will be live within three months of funding. More features will be rolled out after the initial release, with the team looking to achieve functionality comparable to Yoroi and Adelite wallets within six months of development. The end goal is to make Ray the most complete and feature-rich wallet within 12 months. At this stage, the Ray wallet will offer access to features like send, receive, token minting, staking, DeFi swap, crowdfunding, and an NFT marketplace, all in a single platform. We're all aware how big is Cardano project and how good it is going in terms of its worth, technological advancements, and innovations. So we have a strong feeling for ADA's future. Well, that's it for today's video, guys, and make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on Cardano Land.